Random News. So another day, another quick little video. I've already done this mod, but the forum for Super Forums is from my experience incorrect with the original write-up i'll leave a link down to it below so you guys can see exactly what he wrote up originally this is going to be a little bit of a how-to guide because i haven't found one so the main thing that you're going to be looking at is this stuff here so we have 10 gauge wire and that is going to be you can do the colors that you want i have red obviously for positives and then black for negative but i also have a lot more of this so this is what my main positive runs off of another thing that you're going to want to get is you don't necessarily need it but one of these little crimpers along with a set of these disconnects is the easiest way to do it you can find all this stuff on amazon for relatively cheap and then you want 10 gauge or whatever gauge wire that you're using preferably Oh, my apologies, this is 12 gauge. Preferably 12 to 10, don't go any smaller than that. And these are inline fuse holders. I got some mini ones here. They didn't work when I needed them though. And fuses, along with one of these. This is gonna be the main relay that we use for this mod. It's a RL44, you can get them at AutoZone. You specifically want one with 85, 86, 87, 30, 40 amp, 12 volt and then standard set of wire wire strippers and you can get a little bit fancy and get like oe wiring kind of wrap if you want to do it nice but you don't necessarily need it now the main idea is we're going to be running a line all the way to the back and then relay in the rear it's the easiest cleanest way to do it uh, this is going to represent left side is the front of the car with our battery this bar is our firewall, then the cabin, then we have the bridge between the cabin and the, the trunk, and then the rear re resembles our trunk. So from the battery, we're going to use one of these inline fuses, and it is a 20 amp, through the firewall, over the transmission tunnel, under the carpet all the way to the back, and then we pop out in the tail light of the rear. So in the car, that's going to kind of look like this. As you can see, it is a mess of wires. I just did it so that I could get the car going. Um, you can, you should do it obviously a lot nicer than this. Now back to the diagram, we have 85, 87, 86, and 30, resembled as A, B, C, and D. Now what these numbers and these letters refer to is exactly what we are connecting to. So 85 is going to be our trunk or tank ground and is going to be the white and black male plug. So as you can see here, is going to be this. I have a yellow harness um, in my car, and this is obviously a gray harness. The cars are different depending on where they are, but I know for a fact that the NA is going to work like this. So we're taking our male plug that goes into the female end of the sending unit, and the white and black cable right down there is going to connect to our ground, right? From there, we're going to have this line which connects to 85 on the relay and that is going to be the chassis ground as you can see here the chassis ground and by chassis i refer to the car's harness is going to be just left open you have to leave this open next we're going to do b which is tank power and that is going to be the the red and black wire off of this and this connects to 87. so follow it it'll go to 87. from here we have chassis power which is going to be red and black which goes to c or 86 and that is the connector right left to that so essentially what you're doing is you are cutting this and then 86 is going to be red and black and 85 is going to be the uh, the ground for the car you need a ground in the in the guide he says that you can you don't necessarily need a ground but you need to ground the actual tank itself i had mine open and it didn't work so that's why i put this connector here and grounded it afterwards and then lastly is going to be d which goes to 30 and that is going to be the ma the main power so that comes from the battery so the battery comes to the back goes to 30 from 30 we have 86 going to the chassis we have 87 coming from the tank power and we have 85 grounding it out which i'm sure you could probably just connect these two instead of 
doing that, but you need a ground at some point anyways. But overall, this is the easiest way that I know how to do it. You can do it cleaner. I would recommend to at least tape these up and seal them because if you're going to be mounting them in the trunks, you know how the tail light gaskets are. So waterproofing is uh, pretty much necessary for this, especially if you don't want to short it. And we're playing with fuel, so be careful. If you have the stock cover here, you're going to need to cut this. So what I would recommend is probably extending this out a little bit more so that you can do it out here if you want to retain the factory cover for that. <laughs> 